speak to Esmeralda to today. Maybe a drink later. Go on, what does Esmeralda sound like? Absolutely. Who the fuck is that? Nice it's Samuel, he's the new armor smith. Samuel. A Clifford dropped off a letter in your house. Yep, thanks. Uh, a Miss Baron dropped a dagger that needs repair off. She did. I didn't have <clears throat> prices, so I said you would quote her prices later. All right. Well, it would be like eight gold. So, thanks. Eight gold. I'll tell her it's eight gold. <laughs> thanks, Samuel. Make it twelve. Sure. Fuck it. Twelve gold. Oh my god. <clears throat> when he said that. <laughs> You want to talk? Fucking hell. Uh, yeah. I guess I should just get everything out about what happened in Kabaja. Please do. <clears throat> I didn't realize you were gone until I looked for you. I... Yeah, I should have said something. I'm sorry. It's alright. You want a baby wipe? A baby wipe? <laughs> Yeah. Why were you fucking getting your little goblin fingers dirty with tippies? <clears throat> I was getting them dirty with a pop tart, thank you for asking. <clears throat> mm. Anyway. Well, we left <sighs> that same night you couldn't find me. We arrived <sighs> in the morning. <sighs> Let me think. I had a lot of things to do that aren't really important. But a couple of important things did happen. Marin was arrested. <clears throat> she was going to be thrown in prison for being profiled as a criminal. Which blows my fucking mind. Like, I, I saw the wanted poster and everything. <clears throat> and, um, I had to think fast, so I bribed one of the guards. A drow who doesn't get along with the rest of the guard, really likes coin. I gave him 50 silver and I told him to do whatever it is you need to do to get her out. And uh, it worked. Or he stole that money and they really just didn't catch the right person. I'm going to assume he must have forged a document or something. Or, or whispered in someone's ear. <coughs> Okay. But she's fine. Um, we met Topper's family. We successfully found them. Oh. We saved their lives from orcs and trolls and a fucking warg. <clears throat> which Sigvana cleaved in half. Through the jaw. Wow. <clears throat> yes. Uh, we fought Draugr for some... What can be heard? The sound of knocking. Okay. okay. Let me just... I'll be right back. God, okay. <laughs> God. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, God. Kyler with a 19. Geriatric. Thank God. You didn't... You feel a looseness to your back as you feel it crack. And you're fine. <sighs> Unfortunately, it wasn't enough where you <sighs> shit yourself like that strange old man. Oh, my God. I was hoping the diapers would come in handy for once. Miss <clears throat> <sighs> Heidemann? Me Heidemann? Fuck. Lord Silvervan look into it. Very good. Lord Silvervan. I will yeah. pour you his help. I have a new customer. Put me in debt. Hey, my first customer actually, maybe. I heard he mentioned armor. Yes, you can I'll see there is that. dense yeah. scratches everywhere along the armor here. You put this thing through the ringer. Yeah, after dealing with lizard things that walk on two legs and... Yeah, Someone mentioned that earlier, lizard things. Goblins. Are they real? Sorry, I just I'm doing an inspection. Order, because I was yeah. I was you might... 
<clears throat> player characters, DM note. Player characters, DM note. At this point in time, town criers will be moving through the town, notifying that everyone is invited to the large art festival taking place at the vineyard, hosted by Castus de Sarkozy. Everyone will begin heading in that direction. <clears throat> okay, well... Fucking, I just saw something terrible. Ladia came and knocked on the- No, 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 come here. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll run you through it quick. Um, a lot of shit happened. Um, Clifford slash Roe managed to get his way into the vineyard today and found documentation that we need to pin on Sarkozy. So you don't need to do that <gasps> while you're there. <clears throat> I don't want you to risk yourself, but... Listen, 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 wait, wait. I fucked him over big time. So bad. In Carbaja. He sent me there to kill someone. But me being the brilliant <clears throat> fucking woman that I am, I told the man that Sarkozy wants him dead. And this man is close with the Baron! So they're staging his death. And then it's gonna fall back on Sarkozy somehow, somewhere. Well, on this, now that you don't need to risk looking for things while you're at the party, you can just enjoy it and do your thing. Mm. But ideally, look after Ladio, because she's probably gonna get her shit rocked by Kovaz. I will so shadow her. We have evidence that Sarkozy has hired all of Sordillo. And he's going to be making a move today. So you make Her sure protection people, is my first priority. Everyone there, get out anyone you can if shit goes bad. While that's happening, Tibbs and I are going up to the keep. We're going to grab what we can and hopefully close this off. I'm hoping Ladia just came with what she needs, and then that should be our last piece. But you don't need to look around for anything else. Don't risk yourself, is what I'm getting at. We can talk more about Kabaza and Understood. stuff later, but things are moving now, so... Yes. <clears throat> do what you need to do. Probably Protect tonight. who you can. Mm. Understood. Appreciate it. Auto draw roll out. This should be fun. What is it, an art gallery or something? Yeah, enjoy it. Look at some paintings or whatever. <clears throat> but I can at least start reviewing this. I'll, I'll let you review it all. And I'll drop it off tomorrow. Uh, you are. Uh, who just watched their owner disintegrate into a million pieces? You did. Oh. Okay, Ladia. <clears throat> I appreciate it. Um, For you. What, what name should I put down? Is, uh, <laughs> signature from the Archbishop in Malaman. And Sarkozy's signature next to it. This province was made into an imperial-owned province so that they can control it. The Pex, Bishop, all in on it. It's their own black and white. I was very lucky to get it, but I had to talk to a terrorist to get it, so don't tell anyone. Thank you, Ladia. Hey, listen. Sure. I have, um... We go host a party. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've asked Sarah to keep an eye on you, so if things go bad, just know yes. that she's around. You can come to her if you need to. Thank you. I'll keep it in mind. She's rather nifty. She is. Yeah. Be safe. Good luck. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'll let the yes. one that is going to help commission this, I'll speak to them and let them know. Very good. But I will <sighs> get started. They fucking die again. Who? Fuck. What? Uh, Ladia. No, I got her. Where'd she go? I talked to her. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous, okay, I'm nervous. It's fine, you've done your job. Got our uh, first, first customer mm. for armor. Hey, Already congrats. I expect that... I expect now the downpour to happen. Oh, it's gonna happen. Now that one is dared you know, to approach. Do you know how many people have been asking me, can you make me a shield? Can you fix my armor? I'm like, no. <laughs> but now I know someone who can. <clears throat> Absolutely. You have an idea about the pricing around here? For Everything what? Everything seems to be really inflated from just in general. For, um, for 
the iron or any of that other stuff you're willing it's trade secrets i'm sure no uh, up until idea. recently we didn't actually have control over the iron mines there was a civil war in progress uh so there's uh, been a bit of issue you look around it. kyler <clears throat> you know that the town is empty and it is a bad look for the lord of the house to not be present um so yeah there prices a are a little weird coming through earlier yeah, wasn't i was there? just about to say i need to go change i got places to be i am very sorry very well <clears throat> No, no worries. Thank you for your assistance. Uh huh. Okay. Chat. I just need to pee real quick since I'm not going to get the chance. Fuck this, here we go. <clears throat> Act three. That hurts. <clears throat> That's what Cat used to wear. <laughs> a more intense working session? You go for the dog session over there. I'm married. I'm trying to fix oh, my hips. Do you think I should bring my armor as part of the festival, or should I not bother? Because I, I have pretty armor. I'm Where would you on. think you look best in? I, I don't have that, that, my dear, but it would probably I put off the right wrong on. message. Ah. Uh, okay. I'll just enjoy everything else there. Yes. So you're not pretending to the world's most renowned oh. fucking artist. Yeah. Oh, Excellent. Yes, I'm bringing my artwork. <laughs> I'm an artist. <sighs> Major? I always assume. I'm glad to find you. Ready to attend you. such event? <clears throat> oh, I. So ready. I didn't take you as one for the arts. <laughs> I'm not. I'm here to make sure that Diplomat doesn't get assassinated. Yeah, fancy. I could have done it. Good luck. <laughs> Nath, I don't want to play all day. You made aware of the Iron Mind fiasco. I was going to ask you about that. A little curious as to why it's being garrisoned entirely. We pulled out two lords, pulled a retinue out. The names are given me, but I'm forgetting them at this time. Maybe Dakuba and... Imperium had to hold it. Sagano. Uh, never mind. Oh. That's them. <clears throat> yeah, 
I intend to go to the keep later to try and figure it out. What the fucking heads? Yes. Lady Nelsus. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Problems for another time. Not today. Today we deal with. I heard about the incident with your father. Yeah. With my condolences. <laughs> He's not dead yeah, yet, Major. With this hole. No. <laughs> I'm saying how you was run out. Yeah. It's a familiar feeling. You've been doing anything in from him? Today, uh... <laughs> no. Don't know where he is, don't know what he's doing. I have to assume he's in the province, but that's the extent of my knowledge. If we can outrun the Imperium, I'm sure we can outrun some vagabond nobles. Oh, for sure. <clears throat> You're going to ask something? You lived in uh, Ireland your whole life, right? Correct. Castillan. Well, this must be very strange, being in Gradia. All of this new... <laughs> ...laws and... ...whatnot. Castillan. Slavery is not something I'm a fan of. I Nor I. My tongue uh, to it. Argo is uh, suggesting the uh, bookkeeper of Carter's Guild suggested we find some artists in here to uh, <coughs> make some of that. Uh, Are you getting paid for this? Illustrated. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, uh, fine. Never mind. You don't have any weapons on you. <laughs> uh, uh, no, not in this thing. No. A friendly gesture, of course. Sure Very well. Uh, you are good to go, my lady. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Custis de Sarkozy's abode. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I have my plus one here. I don't think there's an issue. There's anything of that sort. Do you have any weapons on? We'll be assisting with setting up, yes. I mean, there are all the guys. Do I? Oh, I do. I have a beggar to leave here. Hold on, sorry. Sure, they'll have something to occupy your time and entertain you until they're fully set up and ready. Oh, okay. I'm gonna leave uh, here very short. There you go, sir. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see mm. you both. Good to see you. Is Ready for a nice good evening? Good, uh, Probably not. So yes. Kind to... Again, I wanted to... I have a feeling. Uh, like I haven't got a to say it yet, but... Unlike the other nobles, I still support you and your father. Thank you. I do appreciate that. I'm doing this what we can get right now. It will be I think they're going to see. <clears throat> I hope so. As long as I get it back. Lord Edhart, welcome to Casus de Sarkozy's abode. Good afternoon. Are you sure you want these? Thank you. Of course. We'll take good care of them, my lord. <clears throat> Appreciate it. You are a soldier. You look like you can take some torment. Sarkozy. And pass. <laughs> Torment. Your armor is not all shinier today. I can see it from the black hand. Spicy is spicy. You can have another. I've got enough torment for one day. Thank you. She's very talented. Very colorful. Goes well with the story. About a man and then she's painted up his endeavors. Thank you. Writing some of his I think so too. I'm not actually not a man. Pleasure of man until he is seen for himself. I don't think so. Delayed. Well, it is an art and music festival. I would be quite appalled to see no art nor music at a festival. <laughs> Right. Mm. I trust you're mingling well with all these lovely lords and ladies. I'm about to start to get really into it now. Don't let me stop you. Excuse me. Oh, shit. Where are keeping the drinks? <laughs> right? I think I see them emerging from around. Man up front. Which one? Oh, let's go fucking grab 
Price, I guess. The delicate. Uh, Jesus, the guard really likes coin. I gave him fifty silver, and I told him to. <laughs> the price, I guess. The delicate. Uh, Jesus, the guard really likes coin. I gave him fifty silver, and I told him to. <laughs> the price. Lord Erdard. Uh, Gucci. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Could I offer you in Bucci's finest charcuteries, right. the finest meats ever made by a good senior bear who is unfortunately no longer here these days? My fine cheese that I had it planned to serve to you, or basically some of Harper's honey. It is absolutely delectable by all means. Which one would you recommend? Some red wine. I would definitely take the red wine. Thank you. Here you are. That's provided us by by the by the uh, the illustrious artisan Clifford. That is his special brew that he provided to go along with his oh, about you. Have a Try my cheese the first, first. Lightly bite into it. Take a sip of the wine, and then finish it off with like honey. The Excellent taste. Go for it. So my Lord. cheese, wine, but I honey. As I said, I could. Honey, and then if they, if you want to basically touch on the sausages for a little oh, bit of I snap, it goes in because the sausages have an excellent mm, snap. I will give him that that thing for him. And then the honey. Um, savor it, savor it. Mm -hmm. Give it a little bit of honey, a little bit. Yes, right yes. Move it around. And that cream, that sugar. Mm -hmm. Gucci, that's a ten. Yes. <laughs> you flatter me, my lord. Sario, you Ooh, must, so much time you must try this. Oh, please, please, uh, Major Dario, if I would be so kind as to offer you Bucci <clears throat> charcuteries, the, the finest we have to offer. A honey made by the artisan hall, the cheese made by myself. Oh! Fantastic. I'm very bold, man. I'm... I'm so... <clears throat> wow. Your opinion? Oh! It's not bad. Thank you. I take that as an endorsement. Thank you, Major. Thank you very much. I do hope you both enjoy the event. Please, don't feel at all a whiskey bothered to call upon me if I could ever provide you more. Enjoy, gentlemen. I'm Lord Erhard, and this is my favorite cheese in the capital. Why does every word that comes out of your mouth fucking stupid when you're at a I'm just relaxing, taking in the sun, keeping in the drink. <clears throat> Surrounded by how many rich assholes? So when's this great poetry reading occurring? One at the start and one in the middle, so I've been told. <clears throat> great. I'm sure you're aware of the theatrics the latter has in store. Oh yes, I yes I'm tried talking them out of it. I think it was a little uh, dramatic for me, but. It'll be sure nonetheless. I sure hope it has something to back it. Hmm. Yes, well. I suppose we'll see, right? Mm. So we shall see. Thank you, sir. However, a squad of fucking men waiting at the clinic to get me the fuck out of here. No, bro. On to call of mine. Hmm. Oh no, the clinic's burning, Nazo. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> you think I'm joking? <clears throat> fucking witches. Exactly. You should relax more. Before I go make sure that she's not... Ha! Ha! Yeah, funny. Do, do check on her, I'm gonna come around the corner and she's just... Ladies, ladies. Terrible thought. I'll be back. Of course. Do you want to drink of water? Because I know that you're...
So, hey, wine. Good. Glad to finally see you here, Lord Ed Hot. Yeah, I just wish I was, uh... Oh, there we go. I was enjoying a nice, uh, slideshow of paintings. Ah, very busy, yeah. You know, I, I was half expecting you to have a different haircut when you came to a noble gathering. If I could on this, uh, clothes set, I would. Very <laughs> much I know. I'm, I'm literally making fun of myself because I don't have hair. What if I could, like, cut some of my hair off and we could, like, glue it to the top of your head? <clears throat> you know, I thought of that at one point, but everybody else thought that it was a weird idea. They would think that I'm trying to become a you flesh You do know girl. they make wigs. Then, video there, Vig. <laughs> when will you wear wigs? <clears throat> Have you worn wigs? Do you wear wigs? Do you wear wigs? <clears throat> Have you one wig? At my pardon. We are moving over to the tables to gather for the event. I appreciate your attention. Oh, just go. Well, just just consider yourself lucky. You have about five different outfits, and I have one. <laughs> you have two. Okay, shut up. <laughs> oh no, I pay attention None to my friends. None of them are able to be worn to fancy occasions. <laughs> there you are. How are you, boy? Oh, I have to go and fetch my spell. Ah, mind if I select Steam or what? Please do. I was going to ask you the same thing, Lord Dertar. It's good to see you. Ah, pleasure. How are you? Yeah, yeah. It's good to see you, Lord. I hope everything's well. Everything's fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> ah, good to see you all, though. Uh, I hope our little talks haven't rushed them off from the high How have you been? Ah, uh, you know, keeping busy. How are you, Ben? Uh, quite the same, in fact. Uh, acquaintances, more or less. Ah, I see, I see. And are you enjoying the party? Yes, the arts is quite beautiful, I must say. Okay. Need to talk later. Sure. You choose the table. I'll sit wherever you sit. Ah, oh, please meet him. Good maker. Well, do you have any friends here? No one's sitting here. And I guess enjoy everything else. I guess you enjoy everything else. Well, I guess we got worse places to do so. Good company. Good drink. Good food. Good food. Good food. Good Kinda wish they had a shade cloth, I'll be honest. Yes, indeed. The sun is actually particularly hot today. It must be really hard for you. You see, he's just squinting yes. to try and see. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, no thank you. Absolutely, enjoy! Ah, thank you! That's all I mean, if you do need, I have my hood on me if you want to borrow it. It's hardly befitting of a noble to wear a hood, enjoy. apparently. Thank you. So I've been told. Enjoy! Excuse me if I'm quiet, that's all. Absolutely. Ah, uh, you, you think you know if Rao Lord was coming? It's okay. I should invest in a hat. Do you know any good... What, hat smith? What do we call those? A hat. A hat. Oh, yes. Maybe not here. Maybe not in not this. There, is, there used to be a man in Palermo who did. He used to make fishing hats for all these people. Mm, I'm thinking of something a bit more fancy. Maybe like with a big feather or something. 
Pain like yours, Major. You don't want that. I think you'd be a bit hard pressed outside of finding somebody outside of Kar Karana, possibly. My lords and ladies, if you'd be so kind, she offered. Before the feasting shall begin and food and drink brought to you all, the good lady Heidemann has a beautiful poem to commemorate and begin our mm. feasting with. If you would give her your full attention and the drinks and food shall be brought out at once. My lady, if you would. Is anybody sitting here? I hope you pardon the intrusion, but yes, oh, this won't take but a moment. I want well, you to get to the no. feasting and the rest of the activities, so I'll keep it brief and very short. <laughs> Thus, the poem I read to you now is titled Toothless Madman. <clears throat> Let today mark the moment of grandeur and art. <laughs> Gathered all together, embers burn, small minds they spark. We share the collective fascination of that which won't last, but will remain in the aftermath long after we pass. So come, friends, let there be song, let there be beauty, let there be gladness, sorrow in our collective misery. Today, the toothless madmen become legends of poetry. Scholars scoff, scribes pity, the wise listen, unconscious yet intently. We are but dust, worthless in death. So come, my friends, I bid you listen well. Come sit with us artists and poets, sharing in our own sweet, lovable hell. Thank you. Enjoy your feasting! Ah. Ah, wonderful! Very wonderful. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Not bad. What a beautiful thing. Oh, Mary. Oh, <laughs> that man your so you can cover his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, how's that? Here, let me, to, uh, let me to stand up a bit more straight. Maybe my shadow will cover you. <laughs> He's going to reach across the table and hand you his hat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How's this? Yeah, that should help you a little bit. Oh, that's, uh, that's actually really nice. Thank you. You know, nice. the, <laughs> you know the yellow really suits you. Oh, really? Matches my eyes? It does. <laughs> the yellow really suits you. I can introduce you to one of my daughters. <laughs> you flatter me. Uh, what have you got there, my friend? Uh, uh, yes, please. And now all the Drink and make merry. Drink, 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 Indeed. For all these years, you still know how to brew it. Just for us. I'm impressed. Thank you very much. 
Yes, once upon a time, long ago. That sounds like a story. A story to that. Ah, I'm afraid so. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I think you have the best seat in the house. Do I? Indeed, you can see everything. I am envious. I could describe everything to you if you'd like. <laughs> Your own words, of course. <laughs> Do it in three words. That's the challenge. In three words. Oh, <clears throat> I like this man. When is that a statement? I can be as brutal as you can. Be honest. I'm not really much of a poet, that's more Ladio. Many drinks and food. <laughs> Many drinks and food. Where's the lie, though? Many full coin persons. Very much. Do any of you want me to leave food within this table? Uh, I'm alright for now, thank you. Come back in like 10 minutes. What about you, Brewmaster? What do you see? Pompous, uptight, and drunk. <laughs> then let me remove the and pompous, uptight, drunk. <laughs> ah, there you go. Go on, Major. I almost would have guessed. If I said it would be a diplomatic nightmare, I won't tell anyone. It does. <laughs> a bunch of drunk nobles, a diplomatic nightmare? Come on. Not at all. It's going to be a fun party. Definitely a diplomatic nightmare. I mean, well. I've got a good one for you. See you again. You snakes in hell. Ooh. <laughs> True. Where did Lady Heidemann go? Oh, she dropped a poem and then left. Oh, good, good, good. oh no, there she is. I see her. <sighs> Little worried she just leave us hanging like that. No, I think she has been a very ladylike. That's still beautiful. <clears throat> I'm keeping an eye on Good man. I just couldn't see it. <laughs> you know, how about a change of pace? From wine to some ale I prepared. <laughs> oh no. Trust this is gonna get messy. It's perfectly drinkable for an event like this. It's a light wine. It's a light ale. You know what? I could go for something a little less refined. I feel the red then. As long as I told him he was born with time, but if I'm asked, I'm the mother. It's one of those gods. Somehow our shafts keep getting stabbed. Good morning, Hello. You've done good work, young lord. Uh, quick reaction for us. Mm. Mm. They seem to be very... Mm. 
joyful when you're around. They, they honor you very well. Good. I do They're good, loyal soldiers. The only reason, I, the only reason why I see my brother, though, he is part of the family. He is uh, well, more of the military uh, part of the family. Mm. I did my time, sir. So I hold the head of the house. But uh, you treat the men well. They enjoy it. Of course. Oh, father. Your father is very stupid. There is enough in that bottle for both of us. I will be taking my leave. You have something you want me to bet on? Now. Yeah. I know to see uh, Griffin in painting. So, yeah. uh, try to bid on that for me. Alright, you owe me. Oh, no, you've given me money. You don't owe me anything. <laughs> I will do my best, but uh, it is a rather popular piece. Hi. I have the money in the world. Hopefully. Anything over in your book, Romeo, old friends? Yes. I can do that very well. So I can do I will do my best. Hey! 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 It seems like we're just going to have to start throwing them. Eventually, time. I'm sure I'm going to have to enter into a bidding war with you. Is your house in the middle of the grid? It is. I don't have one on me, though. I think I'm going to show it up. It is. No, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. I might, uh, might take a glance at it. I pray your father is all right. Terrible. Thank you. It's strange. Everyone who's talked to me about it is sorry for what happened and that he's they're concerned for his welfare, but there seems to be a lot of people calling for his head as well. I've yet to identify these people. <laughs> Strange. It's in your problem. It's in your problem. The more able-bodied men and commanders we have, the better. This is true. Would you agree, Major? He was also the man that helped win the war. <laughs> Do not being here is a detriment to the politics. That's my military take on it. Uh, I will leave it to your expertise. I have only studied what I have seen in books. You do pose a good question, my lord. I do wonder who has been calling for such activities. I heard as soon as the body was discovered, they were immediately calling for his head. No arresting, nothing. Strange. Well, I'm sure the truth will come out eventually. <laughs> Educating a whore. I'm sure it's well. Whichever, whichever bit is the truth, you know? Don't keep a good man down. I for one's own bad news frame. I don't believe in your mind. Wow, 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 you're talking. I see you smart for a mistress. I think that would be a little bit Well, I'm happy to say it's more How are your next words? <laughs> Thank you. It's a specialty blend I was taught when I was very young. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, juniper berries, hops, and it's these small little red berries that grow on the coast. The raspberries are what they're called. Ah, raspberries! That's what you know. 
Frank, you put my bag on. It's hard to find in Gradia. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Quite hard to find in Gradia, if I'm to be completely honest with you. They expect like to grow more temperate environments. I hear it is hot and humid. <laughs> that it is. <laughs> so so one one to to I'm gonna go look at this painting and have a look at it without anyone else around. So I can gauge my bids properly. Ah, there you go. That's a smart man. Take advantage of everybody else speaking. Don't tell the others about my skull W, please. Thank you. Any pieces of food for the review? Are you hungry? Shilbrook, Lord. How are you? I'm faring. I uh, received a, uh, a heartfelt yet relatively concerning letter today. Yeah, that man Nate was screaming about you following your wife. I'm going after her. As I bring new ones. And old ones. <laughs> you know, I'm a hard working person. I, uh. As you see. Young Lord Earhart. When knew she departed to try to find something important to her. My Lord. Nice to see you here, my Lord. And you. Hopefully the festivities are too like. <laughs> Sun's a little bright, but uh, I've been yeah, enjoying the food really and drink. Much so far. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little disorientating. Ah, I was told that there was a. If the sun does become too much, there is an area within my building. It um, give you some ample shade to get oh. the sun out of your eyes. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I was told there was a painting of a griffin around here. I'm trying to uh, track that down. I haven't really had the chance to look at it yet. I do believe it is in that room. All the way again. Let's go see the other. Of course. Major. <clears throat> As you're doing well. After you, my lord. Uh, doing well enough. I will say, keeping busy. The creativity of this artist knows no bounds. Yes. And I will leave you incredibly impressed. The young lord has. I heard if you're talking to the griffin, then it should be right. Thank you. It was quite an exceptional one. Uh, about you. two or three years so ago, I believe in a. Uh, hey. He's, oh I believe uh, I won a competition well, with uh, the local lord. Oh, really? Give me a moment, I'll be right back. Uh, excuse me, my good man. Uh, excuse me. The young lord yeah. would like to observe the. Of course, I was right going to go with uh, Lord Mand. A wonderful piece it is. It's a bit more colorful than the rest, but you know what they say, the devil is in the details, and this image, I believe, tells enough of the story it is. Oh yes, and your interpretation being? Well, not only is this creature depicted to be... Mm. Yes. It's time for us to share these paintings with everyone. Time ready. My goodness. Now I was just about to get into the fine detail of the griffin. Before I do get started, correct me if I'm wrong, the griffin is the sigil of your father's house, no? Sigil of my house, yes. Our house. Proud noble creatures. My apologies. Indeed they are. Oh, I think we know we sure we're going to end what up with this one then. To your father. I'm sure the truth will come out eventually. I don't believe he would do something so heinous, personally. Hopefully. Me neither. If there's one thing I know of the Lord Earhart, he has one quality that no other noble in this entire area can claim to. He has honor. <laughs> Don't find very often in Gradia. 
No. <laughs> well, you would be one of the few that seems to appreciate that, I'm afraid. I appreciate it, but I also understand that it can be dangerous sometimes. But enough with these semantics. We have a part to show, so let us gather to the center and get ready. Of course. To summarize, I realize I'm over here conducting a lot of work to try to ensure that there's something for her to come back to, but well, if she doesn't come back, then it's all for nothing, yeah? Part of building a family and building a place to live in happiness is that you get to do it with people you care about. Right. So, I'm going to try to make sure that I keep her in my life. Good man. When are you leaving? I don't know. Not tonight. I spoke with uh, a few individuals who may help, because it's one thing to enter the Asia, wave a shiny piece of paper that says who I am. It's another thing to go places where you don't want to be found. We're missing an announcement. <clears throat> we'll talk Please, more later. I won't take you anymore. Surely. Past months, but finally things have begun to settle down enough for us to enjoy once and well, won't take up too much more of our time. I'm just as eager as you to see the art. Oh, sorry. Lady Heidemann, I believe you have a final poem that you wish to present. Yes, I do. Um, I do indeed. Uh, oh, I won't take indeed. your stage any longer. Well, Mm -hmm. Let me know how it goes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, the podium, or does the announcer go to the podium? You're going to hate this. Probably you go to the podium. The announcer could probably be next to you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I feel like it's big. <coughs> this poem took me quite some time to write, and even last minute I had to change some of the details, as I couldn't, to be honest, myself if I didn't. A whole context oh, of the story, and the story I bring before you, I call it the Enshrouded Serpent, okay. a story me. of betrayal, a story of greed, and a story of justice. We all want justice. We all want the right to eyes, whether it be for the good of the people. For me, it is much the same. I wish for justice to prevail over all else. And so I read this to you. You can take it and hopefully it molds you into something in your future, or you can ignore me because I am one in a billion million people in his era. You'll come across me once, never again after this day. So perhaps take something away and remember it well. But perhaps, for the context of the poem, only one person here will truly get its meaning. The rest of you will be left to skepticism. But back
DM notes, players. For those of you aware of the information about Kovaz's wrongdoings and the beliefs against him, with any sense of literacy, you can tell that Ladia is accusing him to his face in front of everyone through a poem of murdering his own father, of turning the province against itself, and that plenty of people now know. <clears throat> Fun. Yeah, bound to happen with so many people there. Hey Kyler, what's your status? Uh, I'm hard crashed. I'm loading back in now. Um, I don't think I can handle that many people in one place. Don't worry, you'll be leaving it shortly. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, I'll be in in like two minutes. She fucking steps up and then I immediately crash. <clears throat> Sixty people. <clears throat> uh, you guys might want to refresh the uh, the stream <clears throat> if you haven't already, so you can catch up. Yeah. <sighs> <clears throat> 
Back with us? Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out who I can teleport to. Yeah. Um. Go ahead and teleport to Shinfo. Understood. Shinfo is teleporting to you. Fantastic. If I could have the next one to come around. So blue, just like you. If so I what is the issue with that? You look no talent one. at all. You dress as a monk, but you judge. No talent at all. What skies are blue? Those two are being very disrespectful. Mm. Morning skies are orange. Morning skies. <laughs> you make this a good sunset, a good day rise. What is that? Oh, hello. The view is to the water. It is because I've seen the sight myself. <laughs> of course, you've been stuck in the water too long. You're just still unfinished. I see the paint right there. No, you. No. In order to be calm when people are presenting, give me my paints back. You do not deserve such a gift that I was given. Evolution to the world of the bush. <laughs> this piece here speaks to my heart. I hope it speaks to the heart of Nordis as well. For you see this. So you Excuse me, my lord. Um, you're not busy, are you? <laughs> no, I was waiting for the Griffin. But I yes, what can I do for you? <laughs> yes, well, um, the good uh, Sir Tiberius waits for you outside. Ah. Oh. Urgently. Thank you. I will be right back. Shined our way in. Salvation. Something as basic, a humble tower with light, was able to bring hope to me and the crew that traveled with me. Is it my hope that that same spark is will come to notice now that you face such trials yourself? For your viewing pleasure, the spark. Apologies, Godsman. Give it for the fantastic corner of no, ah! Godsman, if you would. I'll just you grab my own yes. stuff, I guess. Sorry. No, it's fine. Sorry, Lud. Plenty of headache. Ah, uh, yes, oh, all your things me, should be in there. Thank you. <clears throat> I should be back soon. Mm. Everything okay? You would, my lord. Not your horse. Understood quickly. Oh, fuck. Ah, <clears throat> oh, for fuck.
God, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Remind me never to go in large groups of people like that ever again. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yep. We move you farther away. Thanks. So when you spawn on Shinfo, you'll be at Nodis Castle. Understood. Thank you. Sorry about this. No worries. We are here to fit it to you, not the other way around. <clears throat> Info. You know, it's actually pronounced fu. Uh. Shinfu. Okay. Shinfu. Thank you. That's pronounced fu. Alright. Thank you right. so much for getting me out of there. I cannot stand those people. I just. Well, you're not really like I'm getting you next, so. I'm after you. Godman. So Tiberius, the Red Hot. Godman. My lord. Godman. Should be at the festival. That's some things I need to look at. Shouldn't be too long. I managed to get a meeting with the very individual you need to speak to. Oh? It wasn't easy. Yes. So, what happens next, I'm not sure, but he was very willing to speak with you. This individual, the person pulling all the strings? Uh, I don't think he's pulling all the strings, but I mean, it was a little easier than the norm, to say the least. Chamberlain is waiting for you. I'm not walking my ass into a trap, am I, Tibbs? If you are... We're both armed and I'll fight our way out, and I like those arms. <clears throat> you said the Chamberlain? Hmm. Seemed quite willing and eager. As you approach the door, Kyler, you realize very quickly the lack of guards in the keep is very noticeable. Seems the majority of them are gone right now. I might... My lord... It's going to be many nobles moving around. The royal guards are still shooting. Say again. You're talking really oh. quiet. So quiet, I couldn't even make <laughs> it up. It's quite a few noble guards still moving around, so be careful. Of course. Hmm. <clears throat> I 
shall I tell him, or what, my lord? You will Curious. Be expecting a guest very shortly. Go in and go tell him, and then see if he can. In. Of course. You At once, Lord Chamberlain. My Lord Earhart. Lord Chamberlain. Surprised you're not at the party. Sir Tiberius, do you think you could get the door? Hmm. Go ahead, take a seat, Lord Earhart. Santiago. Do you know why the Lord Erdhart is here? It's very strange. I thought he would be at the festival. Did he close the door for you? It's it's very shot, yes. It is both. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Ard, never mind. <laughs> Lord Erhart, the reason that I called you here. I just walked in. It's very simple. <clears throat> Castus de Sarkozy, I believe, is involved in a very complicated plot to overthrow the dynasty. I have been following his movements for a while, as well as the movements of another group of nobles. I'd want to topple him and take control of the vineyard. Lord Pazdor Cuba, Mendo Cash, a variety of the Patrizios. I'm sure that you have come to know the similar. I believe that is why they wanted your father out of the picture, why they accused him of what they did in the, uh, the mask ball. Interesting. I believe that there are a variety of hands involved in this, several factions, each working out of their own self-interest. Sarkozy is a pawn, and of whom I believe we both are able to deduce it quite easily, but there is another player. And what I'm about to tell you, well, it's treason. So I tell you, putting my own life in your hands. I believe that the Baron Kovaz has been cooperating with Baron Vipet, Kurdif, and his uh, second son. A uh, fiery young man by the name of Vaisun. Hmm. I would hope that there would be some evidence to support a claim like that, since it is such a treasonous claim. This is not so Sounds very unprofessional. I have evidence. Very unprofessional. I am a chamberlain. Yes. You do not see that I command the respect or the authority of the royal gods. With but a word, Baron Kovaz, for example, could order my head. You would see me out in the arena as you have so many men before me. Such as the Capitano. Head rent from their shoulders before they could speak their truth. Was it... is it... True that the Capitano was gagged for his execution. It was true. Suspicious, I thought. Mm, sp suspicious indeed. At the time, I thought nothing of it. He was famously corrupt. It was a corruption that I did not have the authority to oppose. But, but now we are in the time of chaos. 
I cannot press my allegations. You need someone who can. Now that is a way into their hearts. It is their family emblem, if the if rumors are to be correct. You should walk the tower to Berlin. You, or your father's son. I believe that I've seen the way that you have taken care of issues in our province, the way you lead the QRF, the way you command the respect of knights, such as Sir Tiberius, the way that you command the respect of the people of this town. I am passing this on to you. You cannot do it. There may be evidence within this very castle. Perhaps in the Baron's own room. Bad luck and ill omen always finds them. They have a knack and bad attention to themselves. How clumsy would it be if some of the Royal Guard's patrols were misaligned, focused to other areas while well, the party at the vineyard was occurring while the Baron is away. They are stretched so thin. Well, that would be irresponsible. <clears throat> well, just this so I can done. be on the lookout. To hurry. Where would his uh, room be exactly? It would be on the third floor, on the far right. You had to have passed, um, passed by the main chamber when you were heading up to the masquerade. I didn't attend the masquerade. Ah, oh. oh, yes, how foolish of me. Um, on the third floor, there is a large room, a uh, great deal of um, fineries and the like. And then you will look on the right side before ascending up to the very top. On the right side will be his room. They will have a green bed. The door is already unlocked. Mm. And if this information did fall into the hands of someone who were to use it for good. Who do you suggest it should be taken to? Good is subjective, my lord. But that is the issue. Without your father, without the marshal, who should have a great amount of authority during this particularly tumultuous time. After all, it was not a state of emergency of war declared well he were able to return and be able to press this command the respect of the military the soldiers the guards well it would roll you're saying i don't take this to the baroness then no not the baroness but, if you're going to act on this, you must be quick, because the shifts are about to change. Very limited time, my lord. Very limited time. I and what do you get out of this, Lord Chamberlain? Return, return to the party once you are done. Do not come back to me. I will treat you as a stranger. Hmm. Thank you. No places to be, Tibbs. Quick feet, no there art. Quick feet. I'm gonna go create my own distraction. I don't trust him. No, no right. neither. Right. Give it to me.
As you begin to approach the door, you slowly move and begin to hear pressure air against it. You hear noises coming from down the hallway. You hear Tiberius's voice and another noble begin to shout at each other. You hear the sounds of footsteps begin to move about. Even in this room, you hear it moving. And you recognize that someone is about to step through the door and you back up quickly. And you begin to hear the sound of steps as the door opens. <laughs> as two men step out, hearing the shouts down the hallway. Let's go figure out what this is. You look through and it is quiet for now. As you step through, you hear the sounds of shifting feet in the distance. Not of plight, but one of light. Maybe servants. You begin to make your way, sliding through. You see their heads hung low. You hear the steps as they follow behind you. Get back here. Where are you going? Get back here. That's not mine. An absolute waste of time. Yeah, the clattering of shoes and things. As you begin to move around the corner, you hear the sounds of heavy feet pressing against near the doorway. What is all that fucking noise? Uh. Sir, could you kind come down here? There's a disgruntled man downstairs. Uh, he's causing all sorts of problems. Apparently he's arguing Very with well. the nobles. You press your down the hallway. It is hard to hear. It's your slight echoing of voices and whatnot, but this doorway, it's impossible to tell what's behind for now. But you can only find out by pressing forward, and this is the only way forward that you know of. As you open the door, you slide, using the darkness to your ally. They don't seem to see you. Hear the sounds of plight as they begin to move. With a 15, Kyler, you're certain none of them saw you. You will hold your breath and embrace the darkness around you. As you slowly come up to the door, you see one man standing alone at the last entryway. But you look at him and he's... Head is held low, body not really moving as you hear the sounds of his... Nostrils of breathing heavily. How long is this going to take? Tiberius said five fucking minutes. You recognize the man very quickly as the one you saw who entered your home the other day from Tiberius. You hear the sounds of shifting boots, very light in nature, not a single plight nearby. The room is dark, hard for them to see, it seems they're working with very little light. Match is strong, and the vizier begins to be lit. Come on, don't take it. Can't see. 
slowly feel your boots shifting through the door. Through the rug and the chair, slowly. The mop the floor fleshly washed. As you slowly begin to move forward. As you cross this point, you feel your butt boot slip just at the last moment, Kyler, with an with a six plus two for an eight. And you, you feel they hear loud of a sound as the servant looks towards this direction. What was that? Hello? I can't see a thing. So to begin to move forward. If braziers would light, it would not be a problem. I don't know if someone forgot to oil this one or what, but the damn thing won't be light. I've wasted three matches. Did you manage to dust the corners? I remember they said that they would be angry if they saw them, the cobwebs when they got back. Yeah, we gotta deal with that. Kyler, you stick the to the corners and the shadows. You can see right ahead of you mm. is the door to the Baron's room. Whatever evidence you need, you need to take it now and quickly. You see the door across just off to your right, way. Kyla. Negative. Stand by. This way. As you reach the threshold of the door, you can hear the sounds of soft snoring from inside. You know that the Baron's not here. You peek open the door ever so quietly. Quiet as the night. You can see just across the way in the darkness a drow woman lying on the Baron's bed, asleep as if she has no care in the world, and just across her, a table laden with parchment and papers of letters sealed and opened. You can hear her soft breaths, and you can even see the rise and fall of her chest as you begin to skate along the stone floor and make your way to the table. Your eyes flip between her and your quarry, and eventually you're able to begin seeing signs on the parchment. Begin to pull vellum and notes, letters and the like off, accounts, invitations, flatteries, formal affairs, and then you see it. A single letter born with the wax seal of the Vipex. Do you break it? Yeah. You take a letter opener off of the table and you crack it open and then you begin to see what appears to be correspondences between Baron Kovaz and none other than Vaisun Vipect, the second son of Baron Kurdif. And as you begin looking over their correspondences and recollections of previous conversations, you can see that there is in no uncertain terms plans of annexation of the region that soon Baron Kovaz will sit on his throne and that the Radads cannot put up much of a fight with the promise of the Sordillos and many disparaging remarks about the Lord Sarkozy. They seem to be celebrating the framing of the Lord Marshal and the dis disappearance of trusted officers and nobles. This is the evidence that you need, Kyler. And just as you finish reading, you hear a stirring from the bed. The woman seems to move a little 
seems to stir, but it rolls over. Then you have your opportunity to steal out of the room and to make your escape. With a 12, you're able to move out without detection, and you close the door behind you. Good point. Hopefully we have some more in the basement. You continue following the paths of the shadows of you as you have so many times before, Kyler. You navigate and weave amongst them, unseen, unheard, unfelt. The servants seem to mill about like automatons and you make your way out of the keep. Step by step. As you move down the steps and listen your way to the door, you hear the sounds of shifting boots here and there, some yells in the behind the door. They begin to shout by the moment. And then, slowly but surely, you hear the clanking of boots echo lesser and lesser, and distant, and more distant. And then, it is quiet. If it's moving, come on, this is taking down, down below. below. Let's go, group up on me. The boots continue to march forward. It seems whatever distractions have been at play are moved to your advantage for now. As you reach the door, you hear the stats of the armor in the distance. You hear shouting in the distance, Kyler. It sounds like Tiberius and some noble. You don't have to take things so far, my good sir. There's about to be another Whoa, mere accident in moments. <laughs> I'm now gone, Tyler, you know that you, you can either I, bail Tiberius know. out or you can no. act fast. You do not know how we long you have. Nobility in their own minds you and the way things place. go. You may think you're a knight from where you come, but this is not where you hail from, Drow. You are nothing. He's trying to get Tiberius' eyeline. It is best that you remember <clears throat> your place. Yes, well... I will say, uh, I'm a man who tends to fight against many different things in my life. You know, there is nothing else to say, but you seem to have caught his attention. And leave. He's tilting his head. Mm. Yes, my lord. 
I will take my leave. My apologies for any inconvenience. It seems even the animals can learn. Get out of his way and let it lead. You good? I was about to be killed. Yeah, I'm glad that didn't so, happen. Uh, as well as I can be. Uh, didn't know if I needed <clears throat> to step in or not. Uh, well, it would probably be best you didn't. Uh, I sort of maybe uh, sh bumped aggressively. Uh, <sighs> Let's get back to the party. And maybe insulted him. Yes, probably at a good pace. Did you find everything you need? Yes. All prepared for the next council meeting, finally. Thank you, Godsman. Have a good evening, Lord. Uh, and you. We need to find where Arn is. You have any ideas where that could be? I have a rough direction, but that's it. It's the scouts that work was sent there couldn't find anything. Even if we move about, Kyber, we'll be watched no matter where we go. We'll lead men right to him. Listen. He's still Marshal, which means he still has judicial punishment, right? So if we can get this to him, he can act on it legally. on that. We have everything we need now. But, wait. Sarkozy still has Sordillo. Sorry, say again? We'll work on that when we can, but Sarkozy, Sorry, says, Sarkozy still has Sordillo and he's planning on acting today. That means n soon. Then we'll ride tonight. But for now, you have to keep up appearances. Time. Much rather right, be sir. drinking. Apologies, Godsman. Thank you. Just the simple I'll be starting this at twenty silvers. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five silvers. Thirty silvers. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get to see your uh, poem. How'd you go? Uh, oh, it was a. Uh, it was a rain. Bowser left within 15 minutes, and he's not been back for an hour. Hmm, that's a shame. I know, and the guard activity has skyrocketed. Well, we talked about it with Swordilla. That's still happening. We can't stop it. <sighs> 
Why not just like <laughs> go to a tree? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Because a tree wouldn't be shaped like a woman. With some effort, it could be. Do not worry, I'll keep her safe. I'm afraid I'm required of the <coughs> Of course. <laughs> Dibs. Listen. Hello. Found some documents yesterday saying I need to that. Step away. Do what you gotta do. Some documents yesterday. Sarkozy has hired all of Sordillo and he's gonna make a move today. And considering the sun is setting, that means it's gonna happen soon. So do what you need to do to make sure you can get her and everyone you need out Are when it happens. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but something's bro. happening. Yes. I can't stop it. I tried to, but we have to ride out today. Shit! The Imperium needs a day to move. Well, the men are already at the front lines. The men I have at the back are currently in reserves. Unreserve them. It's going to come to a crash. I have a squad of two of my most trusted waiting in the clinic for me for any debauchery that was to happen here. So Dillo has enough manpower to completely steamroll the Redots, so we need a prep. Fuck me. We don't even have full walls yet. <sighs> no, but we have a battleship. If you can prep it, get in a good position. But that'll take time. I don't know when he's gonna move. Listen, they're currently standing off with the Warworth out there, if I'm not just correct on that. Just make sure you have an exit strategy for you and your own, is all I'm getting at. Nothing can be done. This pavement goes through. Shit. Fuck. Yeah. Anything else? Or is that just it? Anything that matters right now. That means that something's going to happen and more than likely happened here. How many fucking important people are here? Yeah. I have an exit strategy, it's not pretty, but... I have a knife on me. When you get me to my sword at the door, things go south. Protect the diplomat, I'll hold the line. There's about 30 guards here, I can take about 15 of them. <laughs> Give me my weapon and I can help. I'm still by the door with yours. No, I need you to get the diplomat back and inform the colleague to lock down and send word to my galleon. Alright. Reposition it to defend the south. province. Yeah, well, better to have a plan than not, right? You ready for a fucking show then? And I thought odd shows were boring. Go <laughs> back to the diplomat. Maybe he's just that passionate. It could be something simple. Gentlemen? Yeah, there's probably not that one. It's just like, oh, it's like, I can recreate that thing for you. For, you know, half the money. It's already started. Isaac's inside. I'll make it for you. Exactly. Marco, we have a business idea. Business proposition. Twenty. We couldn't stop Iron in my boot. Twenty. Twenty. Status ten. We just have a longer fight on our hands then. Get the diplomats out. The important people out. Let me ask you a favor to help me transport this to my home. I don't know what's gonna happen. But just keep an eye on it. We need to have an exit strategy. This is a piece. Of course. Please. This cost not a lot of exits out of here. We either go up and over, or we go through. We have to go through. That's where we're going through. Mm. I will do my damnedest. How many times do I have to tell you? I will make you. I will reward you later. Damn the bull. Take it. Hands you a dagger. Fair enough then. Pieces from the soul. 
Surely you can all do better than just me and the But I'm not the only one who thought ahead. How much is the Hobbit one? Let's auction him. We should be careful. I'm being very, very careful. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 even on the staircase. I Let's be real, we can't Just stop this at 20 silvers, one gold! <laughs> no one bid on it. Nobody bid. Let her pay. Sounds like you're gonna have to empty your pocket. I do want to let you know that this is an experience piece that I have given here to offer. A piece that not only is something that I had seen within my eyes, but a piece of Thank actual you. piece. So please, take good care of it. it away. This is not for me. All of this coin is not going to myself as much as I do love painting. And I do love doing oh, this for a living. A lot of this coin is going to go to the wonderful fair city and place that I come from. I'm here to all. That's for charity. That is good news. Same. To bed. For a living. It's a classic ploy. One ten. Guess a major of the Imperium is always carrying a backup on him. Thank you. You never fought back here. Thought Marin left. Doesn't. What little bitch you going? Ah, she's my favorite.